the most about this deal since you kind of grew up? Yeah, right. um, I've, uh, I remember watching the last uh, KU Mizzou game, and that was a while ago. But uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of have a little, a better idea than most of the guys on the team. Did, did it mean everything to you, you know, growing up as a kid like that, like it does to or did to the fans that, that followed it all around here for all those years? I mean, yeah, having my family raise, raise me a KU fan. Yeah. I, I obviously get to see a little bit more, and more of the rivalry than some some of the guys, but uh, yeah. Is that your favorite moment, then, or do you have it? Um, probably gonna have to go with national championship. That's probably my favorite. Okay. Moment. How about from the rivalry, though? Sorry. From the rivalry? Yeah, that's gotta be my yeah, favorite. Yeah. Moment. yeah. If you have teammates ask you what what's the border war mean, what would you tell them? Um, sad to say, it's a it's a rivalry between two schools that goes back longer than uh, most most people alive today remember. Um, and there's there's more t there's more to it than most people know. When did you find out this was happening? What was your reaction when you found out this was happening? I mean, obviously I was pretty excited, but um, obviously get excited to raise uh, money for a great cause and get to help help support people that were uh, they were hurting those hurricanes and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. When did you find out? Um, the day before I think it officially hit the media. We saw we figured out those through social media and kind uh, of got kind of got wind of it through that. What do you remember about where were you in 2012 when you watched that game and, and what were your emotions like? I th I'm pretty sure I was, yeah, I was still in grade school and uh, no, it was a national championship. I had to go to bed at that time. I think I got to watch that whole game. But uh, yeah, I got to got to watch that and obviously the comeback, we were down a good amount. The comeback was pretty exciting and then obviously Thomas's block was pretty cool. Have you talk, has any former players talked to you guys about uh, just the game and I mean, we've, we've heard about the intense rivalry and just how today, like obviously not being able to, not, not having the ability to play them, you don't get to see that intense rivalry. But uh, the former players, they tell us about how that, that's that's a big thing and it's kind of special to be able to do that again. Who have you heard from? Or who have you talked to about? Uh, I mean, just people that have come back, like different players. Okay. And there's not one Anybody this week, though, or no? No, nobody does. Okay. Nobody's really come back this week. Yeah, right. Yeah, Chuck, can you guys get better by playing a guy like Michael Porter? Um, obviously, he's a great player. Um, he's he's got he's got some help too with his team. I mean, they have good pieces on there, and uh, we get to see uh, his versatility and stuff like that. We haven't really studied him yet, so we'll, uh, in the next coming days, we're gonna do some uh, do some film work and stuff like that with coach and stuff. So we'll we'll figure out more then. It's probably anything of this early to get a guy like that in an exhibition game to kind of test yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Coach, like Coach said, I mean, they're they're a legitimate team, and uh, we get to see see uh, how we uh, stack up and stuff like that. Are you surprised about the reaction that everyone's having over an exhibition game? Um, I would say yes, but then again, it is a rivalry that means a lot to a lot of people, so. Uh, I kind of kind of expected it if we did play them that we get a we get a nice reaction out of people. Do you have any story of fans or students or anybody coming up to you and talking? I know Billy talked a little bit about some stuff that the ladies might watch tonight. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. It was like last night on the ladies. They're they're just expressing how much they uh, they want us to win and stuff like that, and just telling us their memories from from the border war and stuff like that. So it's really cool to see their passion about it. Have you heard from your parents? I mean, they grew up KU. They're, they're KU fans. Please. Um, uh, my parents really haven't said that too much to me about it. Um, they uh, they are obviously KU fans. They raised me that way, so it would be exciting to see what they think about the game and hopefully uh, they can make it to it. What's what's the most important thing you guys can gain from this, though? I mean, putting all the rivalry aside and stuff, just facing another good team before the season starts, things like that. I mean, it's big. I mean, it's another, another another opportunity to play against a team that has legitimate talent on it, and uh, an, op an opportunity for us to see how we stack up and what we need to address heading into the season. Do you even know what what you want to see yet, or I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things you can see. I mean, def defensive strategy, stuff like that, learning mean, how to defend better before we start heading into the bigger games. Sure. Not bigger games, but uh, games where they mean like conference play and stuff yeah, like that. Right. All right, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate Thanks, it. Mitch.